If a girl likes you, if a woman likes you, she will say yes to going out with you. When you ask when she's available, she will give you those dates and times when she is available. If she doesn't like you, she will give an excuse or she'll flat out say no. So instead of just waiting and hanging around and looking for the clues, looking for these kind of really tiny things to be able to tell, be more direct about it, be more of a guy about it, be more of a man. Be brave, be courageous, get on with it and ask her out. Women who are into you will do this. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about a couple of ways you can tell if a woman is into you, how to know if they like you, um, how to tell basically if they like you. So one of the most important things that you need to know when you start liking someone and you're wanting to know if they like you back, you have to kind of look at how much effort they are putting into it. So are they putting in the same amount of effort as you are at least? So that means that you initiate contact with them sometimes and they also initiate contact with you sometimes. But if you feel like you are doing everything, if you're the one that's the one that's always trying to get to know them, let's say you have kind of like a really one-sided conversation. So you might ask, hey, how are you? And they might go, I'm fine. And then it kind of just goes flat right? If it always kind of looks like they're trying to end the conversation, then that's a huge sign that this person isn't into you. However, if it's the opposite, like if they are very chatty with you and they're giving you that mutual effort when you talk to them, then that's a good sign that they do like you and that they are into you. If you are enjoying this video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe for more videos like this. Also leave down in the comments any tips yourself or if there's something else you would like me to discuss in a future video, thank you so much. So they give mutual effort. They put in the same amount of effort, at least the same amount of effort that you do. So the next way, and this is a huge one, and that is it's really easy to meet up with them on dates. It's really easy to um, see them. So for example, if you ask them out, if you say, hey, I think you're really cute, would you like to go out? Uh, would you like to meet up? Uh, what days are you available to do so? You know, trying to make those arrangements. Um, they make it easy. They say, they give you the times when they're available and they show up, right? And they don't flake on you at the last minute and things like that. Like it's really easy to hang out with them. It's really easy to meet up with them because they want to see you. Someone who doesn't want to see you will either give you an excuse, they'll either just flat out tell you no, or they'll flake on you last minute. Um, so in those kinds of situations, you know, you need to kind of move on, right? So that's what a great way to be able to tell if this woman is into you. Like if she wants, if she likes you, she will want to see you. And, uh, but there is a difference though. Make sure that when you do meet up with them, it's just like you two alone and it's not some kind of group thing, unless you're already in a relationship. It's best not to go on group dates with girls who you have only just started dating and who isn't your girlfriend yet. It's always better to leave those kinds of things until later on when you two are actually in an exclusive relationship where you've both kind of established that you're, you're both not looking for anybody else and you are together. Also, going back into my first point of them making the mutual effort, um, that's also really important as well in these kinds of stages where you are meeting up with them. You can kind of tell that they're not really that into it, they're not really really giving much to the conversation. So for example, this is probably someone who you'll probably just go out on one date with. You probably won't go on multiple dates with this person unless perhaps they're just trying to get a free lunch from you if you always pay for the meals and stuff or the drinks, right? So um, if you can tell that they're kind of like always on their phone, just being really disrespectful in those kinds of ways, they're not really that interested in finding things out about you, then you also kind of need to watch out for that and, and you know think about the mutual effort concept that I talked about at the beginning of this video. So you know, it's a mixture of them giving mutual effort and them always being available to see you. So that not, obviously not then, obviously they're not always gonna be available to see you as in like they will, drop everything to be with you because obviously sometimes they might actually be genuinely busy or they might have other important obligations like work or school or other kinds of commitments. 
um, depending obviously on the age of this woman. When you do ask them out though, they do give you those times when you're available, which is why it's really important when you are asking a woman out, you also ask them when they are available. You don't just say, can we meet up this Saturday? Um, you, you could, because they might not be available on Saturday. You need to ask them when they are available and then find out from the dates that she gives you and the times that she gives you when you are also available. So she might say, oh, I am free uh, this Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but you might not be available on let's say Saturday and Sunday. So you say that you'll meet her on Friday because that's the day that works best for you as well. So it's always that's always a really, really good um, kind of question to ask when you are trying to ask someone out. If you're in a kind of situation where you are trying to find the right partner for yourself, I highly recommend that you go and watch this video on how to attract the right partner. Basically what I've given you are some ways that you can tell if a girl likes you um, so you don't fall into a trap. And there is a trap, right, that you can get yourself into if um, they are basically not displaying these signs. If you don't be, be more direct, because this is what I'm trying to suggest that you do. I'm trying to suggest to you that when you start liking a woman, you need to basically get on with it and ask her out as soon as possible um, and, and tell let her know that you're interested in her in that way, right? You need to say to them, I think you're cute. I think you're gorgeous. Um, I would really like to get to know you better. Um, when are you available to hang out for a drink? You know, just something like that. Because if you don't and you kind of wait and you kind of let it fester, you kind of let your attraction build up. And instead of like being direct, you know, being, if you are a heterosexual male, you know, you kind of have to be a bit more brave. You need to be a man about it and ask her out instead of waiting and kind of looking for little tiny signs like, oh, she just touched her hair just then. Does that mean she likes me? Oh, she laughed at a joke. Does that mean she likes me? You know, you're looking for these tiny little clues instead of looking for the really big important ones. You know, if a girl likes you, if a woman likes you, she will say yes to going out with you. When you ask, when she's available, she will give you those dates and times when she is available. If she doesn't like you, she will give an excuse or she'll flat out say no. So instead of just waiting and hanging around and looking for the clues, looking for these kind of really tiny things to be able to tell, um, be more direct about it, be more of a guy about it, be more of a man, be brave, be courageous, get on with it and ask her out. Because what happens if you don't and you're always looking for these tiny little clues, that's when you start becoming a bit delusional and we start imagining things that aren't there, right? And this is definitely something that I've fallen into, so don't um, take it personally or anything like that because both men and women do this anyway. But when you really like someone and you're kind of too timid to ask them out, you kind of look for clues. You're waiting for like some kind of big gesture so you know for sure because basically that's what you want to know because you're unsure. You want to know for sure that they like you before you ask them out so you don't get rejected. So you look for little things. You look for the little clues like, oh, did their eyes just dilute then? <laughs> that's kind of like a really funny one that I see on the internet with like uh, like videos kind of similar to this one where you, someone is telling you how to tell if a girl likes you or how to tell if a guy likes you. You know, you have to be really close to someone's face to see if their eyes dilate. So I kind of really think that's kind of like a really creepy way of trying to find out if someone likes you. And if you just go right up to their face and just see if like their eyes are dilating or something. <laughs> like it's better to just do a more concrete approach, a more kind of brave approach and just ask them out because that's what you want to know. You want to know if they like you. And yeah, sure, you might get rejected. You might get rejected loads of times by asking a woman out directly, but at least you've done it. At least you know, at least you now you're not gonna let it fester and you're gonna be looking for these tiny little clues and then suddenly you become more and more obsessed, more and more involved. And when you do get the courage eventually, months down the line or weeks down the line, or sometimes with some people years down the line, you know, that's when, you know, and they, and they tell you that they don't like you and they just see you as a friend, you're gonna be crushed because you basically put all this emotion, all this energy into figuring out if they like you. And then it gets to that point where you just can't help yourself anymore because you've got all this emotion built up and then you say it and then they reject you and then you get even, basically even worse result for yourself because you feel absolutely terrible that this woman has rejected you. Whereas if you just, at the beginning, just kind of like, um, 
gone straight to the heart of things and just said to her, I think you're really interesting and cute um, and attractive. Um, I was wondering if you'd like to hang out sometime and get to know each other better. When are you available for a drink? And then if she had said no, at least then you would know and it would prevent you from wasting so much of your valuable time. So he tries to get to the heart of matters quickly. Are they giving you the mutual effort? Are they saying yes and making it easy to hang out with you? Easy to go out on dates with them? Are they making it easy for you to see them? You know, those are the things that you need to look for. The mutual effort and whether or not it's easy to hang out with them. If it's those two things, is it easy to go on a date with them? They like you. If they're making mutual effort, they like you. And that's how to tell if a woman is into you. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Um, if you like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.